table. Hello guys and welcome to uh, another one off video about UHC. I'm going to show you how to do a UHC in vanilla Minecraft. Hello pig. Um, basically I saw a video of OMG Chad do this um, just a couple days ago and I was like well I might as well do a video on that but try to improve some of the commands and stuff just to make it a little bit easier and work more effectively. Uh, so I'm not taking any credit for this, but if you want to go watch the original, go watch OMG Chad's video. Uh, no, it's not OMG Chad. It's OMG Craft, but OMG Chad does it. Anyway, let's get started. So basically, the first command you want is you want everyone on your server to be uh, slowness. So if we do this, right, okay, this is the command you want. So slash effect at all uh, two. 300 seconds, so that's effective 2, which is slowness, 300 seconds, uh, level 10. So that means everyone is like this. So they can't move, the only way they can move is jumping. But they can't move at all when they're trying to move. But obviously you don't want to be like this. So you can you can give yourself some milk so you can keep going, but everyone else will be like that for 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes. You also want them to have this command, which... Uh, uh, which this effect which is regeneration just in case uh, this tried to kill each other which that like, you can't see because I'm in creative mode but I've given myself regeneration for 300 seconds I'm just gonna get rid of it just because I don't want it there and then so the next one you want to turn yourself into turn everyone into game mode C make sure everyone's on the server and put in slash game mode C slash all. So let's put everyone in game mode C, which is creative, obviously. Then you want to TP everyone, everyone on the server. I think this command works. I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, wait. See, if TP's everyone, everyone on the server to uh, zero zero on the map. You just want to keep it like that. So that's that's when you wanted everyone in creative. And then you go on to this, you turn everyone into adventure mode. Because so they don't break anything and stuff like that, just because it's annoying when people do that on the server. So yeah, everyone's in adventure mode now, so they can't break any blocks. Um, I'm just going to go back into creative just for now. Game C. Right, and then what you want to do is you want to turn that uh, regeneration off. So that's what's the whole point in your HC. Uh, you want this rule in so it's slash game rule natural regeneration false so that means I cannot um, regenerate health let me just prove that to you so if I just jump off here right I'm not gonna regenerate that health even though my hunger is full and the only way to do that is by potion and um, what's it called um, golden apple as in UHC uh, then what we want to do is we want to add teams just so it's easy for the server to understand what we want to do after this So that's the first team you want to do slash scoreboards teams Add green and then green again make sure the spaces are all correct So you just want to do that and you want to keep doing that For every single team so I'm going to do four teams so we're going to have a blue team here Which we're just going to put in uh, Just do exactly the same so that's blue team done then you want to do a uh, red team, which is here. I'm just copying them all in from a uh, spreadsheet I have, just so it's easy for me to do and I don't have to type them all out because I'm a really slow typer. So yeah, that's red team in. And the last team we're going to do is yellow. So it's control C and then control V in here. So that obviously is the yellow team. So that's all then done. Then we go back onto my spreadsheet, and now we have to put the colour, so so the colour above their name is the set colour, so here we go. This should work, I obviously can't prove this works, because I do not have um, a separate account to show you, but this is how it works anyway. And then we're going to put the other one in as well, so that, that was green, this is going to be blue. I uh, don't think it matters about cap, capital letters, but I've just got them in anyway. Uh, so that was blue, this is red, control C and then control V and then bing and then the yellow team one so this is to make sure the yellow has the core yellow on them 
and then now we go back onto my spreadsheet and now we have the to randomize team so this is how omg chad did it i didn't know you could do this but this is what i'm going to say so stupid music and horrible music in the background uh, so this is what i do that's a slash scoreboard teams join green and then the slash r means random and then count is two you make sure you've got the square brackets because that works so it'll do a random people of two people on the server and to put them in the set team so we click that and it's put me and someone else but no one else is on the server so there's not much you can do so if I keep uh, I'm not gonna do them all but I'll show you actually now I might as well do them all it doesn't really matter control V it's put me in it again but it's, it's only because I'm the only person on the server now I'm gonna do it again and this should work I don't know I know the randomized teams not very good on this on the uh, vanilla but I know it's just what can you do and then that was the red team then we're going to do the yellow team right there and that's random people in there toxic rex obviously there um, so then I don't know if that command works properly but it doesn't really matter then you want to put everyone uh, wait then you want to put everyone into game mode C which is obviously uh, game mode C creative mode and then this is where you want to do this set command which is I'll show you it now um, it is wait spread player command which is slash spread players zero zero so it's around zero zero uh, 500 blocks away from each other and 2000 in a 2000 radius square then you want this to be true and then affect it to slash all players so we're just gonna press this it takes a second for it to work you're probably better off going around the server just to render every chunk before you do this but here we go we're in uh, the reason I put it into creative mode is because if you do it in survival it doesn't work properly but you know it doesn't really matter uh, anyway uh, then you put everyone back into survival mode so everyone's back and then you want to go back to my spreadsheet then you want to set up the world border so you have to just let me check my cowards are fine yes they're perfectly fine so you want to put this command in which is the world border center zero zero which i already said in my previous video before this then you want to put in uh set the world border at uh four thousand in two seconds so we're just going to do that which is basically two thousand one way two thousand the other oh god wait wait wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we're just going to turn you off for now. I'd rather you not be there. Bye. Right, and then we want to use the damage buffer. So you want to make sure that you die if you're near the border, which obviously sounds really mean, but that's what obviously happens. I think my thing not responded for a second. Uh, damage buffer to zero, so you've already seen that. All the commands will be below anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, then you want to set the warning distance, which you can only see... Uh, if you're in fancy graphics so we'll put that in then you want to put in uh, world border set a hundred so that's a hundred so goes to a hundred in two hours which is seven thousand two hundred uh, seven thousand two hundred uh, that's in seconds for two hours it depends how long you want the game to last for but that's what I've got here so once I click enter the world border will be on its way and then you want to affect everyone with this just to to count down the time that's what I'm using now sorry I press the wrong one and then you want to set the time to zero and then once that goes everyone can go play UHC um, so that's basically how I do it obviously you can have set the regeneration effect again just to make sure everyone gets regenerated because it is a bit of a pain um, if people start trying to kill each other but we can set that up just to uh, regenerate for 300 seconds but obviously you can shrink that down but I think that's it if you've got any queries go in the comments below but I'm sorry if this is a bit mishmash and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently I just haven't had the time and I just haven't felt like it 
Just remember that you can probably do all this with command blocks. You can probably just have a line of command blocks. So that, that was the command for command blocks. And just have a load of redstone repeaters um, in a line and do it. You could probably do it within 30 seconds. Just have a load of these, just randomly like that, and have each command in um, a command block and just let the current go. Just maybe leave a thing so the server doesn't get mixed up. But uh, you could probably do it like that. Just have like a bed bedrock box somewhere, just holds all these. And you could probably do it within 30 seconds and get it going quickly. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.